Vitamin E. If you want to try to build muscle without vitamin E, good luck. In fact, you want to try to build muscle without vitamin E, you're probably going to end up with muscle wasting disease, or at least the symptoms of muscle wasting disease. You'll understand why in a second. And here we go. I got a lot of terrain to cover, so I'm going to talk real fast. So, researchers basically discovered with working with animals how vitamin E actually helps maintain and help the body adapt to build more muscle. In the research titled, scientists figure out how vitamin E keeps muscles healthy. In the citation title, the antioxidant requirement for plasma membrane repair and skeletal muscle published in Free Radical Biology and Medicine this May 2015. And this is in the researchers' own words. So keep in mind, this may strike a chord with a few of you out there, especially the athletes. The researchers said in the first topic sentence, bodybuilders have it right. Vitamin E does help build strong muscles and scientists appear to have figured out one important way it does it. Of course, 83 years later after vitamin E's discovery. But then again, let's not digress. Let's get into the research. It says vitamin E has been known as a powerful, long been known as powerful antioxidant. And now scientists have shown that without it, the plasma membrane, which essentially keeps the cell from spilling its contents and controls what moves in and out, cannot properly heal. So vitamin E keeps this, the cell basically a cell. Once vitamin E levels begin to climb, bleh, things spill out, things get in, it's all messy, chaos ensues, and before you know it, your muscles are vanishing. And let's move further into the research. Scientists suspect knowing that cell membrane repair action of vitamin E has implications for muscular dystrophy. This is their words, not mine. And common diabetes related muscle weakness, as well as traumatic brain injury resulting from collisions on a football field, battlefield, or roadway. With a traumatic brain injury, for example, one of the first events that happens is the plasma membrane, from the cell thing, of the neurons, key cells in the central nervous system tear. So what scientists are alluding to is vitamin E is important to basically in conjunction with dementia, Alzheimer's, not just muscle itself. However, the research was done on primarily muscle, so that's what I'm going to stick with. Also, as a side note, again, to reiterate, it is not about the amount of vitamin E we're talking about or the type. We're just talking about having adequate vitamin E levels in the body. This is what they did and this is what they said. Now keep in mind, this, this one paragraph is quite um, foreboding if you're not getting adequate vitamin E. It says part of how we build muscle is a more natural tearing and repair process. That is the no pain, no gain portion. But if that repair doesn't occur, what you get is muscle cell death. So henceforth, inadequate vitamin E, muscle cell death. To proceed forward, it gets even more scary. It says if that occurs over a long period of time, what you get is muscle wasting disease. So think about it. Vitamin E deficiency can actually mimic, or actually really is, muscle wasting disease, which is really important to 90% of the American population out there who do not get the daily intake of vitamin E down properly. Now I'm gonna go through the research on how they discovered it really fast. So here, bear with me. For the new study, rats were fed either normal rodent chow where, or chow where vitamin E had been removed or vitamin E deficient chow where the vitamin E was, sup vitamin e was supplemented. First, there was a period of training to ascertain the rat's innate ability to run downhill on a treadmill, a challenging move for muscles called an eccentric contraction. The exercise helps lengthen muscles and can produce the most soreness in athletes because of the high mechanical stress as the muscle contracts and lengthens simultaneously. Gravity is an additional force. Here we go. They found vitamin E deficient rats were generally deficient in their running ability. Think about that. Vitamin E may actually help your cardiovascular or your running ability. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, compared with controls, it made significantly more visits to a grid, despite the fact that they received a mild electric shock when they stood there. So basically the vitamin E deficient rats didn't mind getting shocked because they're just too tired to run, but the ones with vitamin E uh, could avoid the shock. The scientists also administered dye that could not permeate an intact plasma membrane and found it easily penetrated the muscle cells of vitamin E deficient rats. Those cells weren't protected because the vitamin E was maintained in the plasma membrane. So the dye, which should have been on the outside, you know, not affecting the cell, actually was entering the cell because without vitamin E, the plasma membrane couldn't be maintained and the cells began to fall apart. McNeil notes that a healthy cell makes a patch 
within like a hole, patch a hole. Within a minute, it has completely restored the cell membrane within a few minutes. Later examination of the quadricep muscle fibers under a microscope showed rats fed normal chow or chow or vitamin E had been restored were essentially the same. The large thigh muscle fibers in rats fed vitamin E deficient chow were smaller and inflamed. Sounds kind of like muscle soreness to quite a few of us out there. So, to conclude, this is what the researcher said. It says, this means for the first time in 83 years after initial discovery, we know that the cellular function of vitamin E, what cellular function of vitamin E is. And knowing that cellular function, we can now ask whether we can apply that knowledge to medically relevant areas, such as muscular dystrophy, Alzheimer's, dementia, uh, brain trauma, you name it, sporting athletic events with, with a lot of impact. The door is now wide open. So keep in mind, vitamin E now may be a very powerful tool, at least in regards to athletics, and if you're an athlete now not uh, having adequate vitamin E in your diet from whatever the source is, you may want to rethink that position. Again, Ralph signing off, and I hope this helped. By the way, as a side note, the 90% of Americans not getting uh, meeting a daily dietary requirement for vitamin E was published in the Journal of Nutrition 2011. Well, this helps once again, and thank you very much.